Hi, hello, this is Anup here and in this video we are going to talk about Microsoft Intune certifications and what are the changes coming into Microsoft Intune certification or exams. Let's look into the latest changes of Intune exams or Intune certification and we will also look into the learning path change from the technology to the job profile. And we will also talk about the cost of Intune certification. So let's get into it. Intune certifications exams. What are the things we are going to cover in this video? Retainment of Intune exams, rename of certifications, cost of new exams and the syllabus of Intune exams. So Microsoft is updating Microsoft 365 certification portfolio and it is kind of consolidating, announcing new beta exams and getting more aligned with modern workplace scenarios. So these are the main four pillars of new certification portfolio updates. Oh, just a recap, we have discussed this in various blog posts but I wanted to kind of ensure that we are all on the same page. Initially, the certification path were based on Microsoft technical products such as Intune, Configuration Manager, System Sender, etc. Now, the certification path has changed based on the job roles. So, this is going to help IT admins, all the other folks, who are working in IT industry. Because of cloudification, the technologies are going to evolve very quickly and the job role based certifications are going to make more sense in that terms. So let's get into the details of the latest certification announcements from Microsoft. So let's look into this first. These are the existing certifications MD100, MD101, MD100 is Windows client certification and that is the basic certification and MD101 is managing modern desktop. This is advanced kind of certification. Now what Microsoft is doing combining these two certifications into the new certification called MD 102 and the previous certifications exams are getting retired MD100 and MD101 are getting retired by July 2023 and even Microsoft is changing the name of the certification it was modern desktop administrator associate now it has changed to Microsoft certified endpoint administrator associate endpoint so that means not only desktops probably uh, all the other platforms also included in that certification that is pretty good isn't it and you can see this is the old one this is the new one and they are combining these two certifications into one that is MD 102 and the retirement date for the old certifications are July 2023 and beta exams will be available for MD 102 by May 2023 as per the latest Microsoft's announcement. So let's look into more details in terms of fee structure. How is it? I have taken three examples over here. If you are from United States, US, the beta exam fees is 165 USD, 165 dollar and there would be some additional charges as you can see over here in the star mark. And if you are from United Kingdom, then it is 113 GBP. That would be the fees for Intune certification. And if you are from India, the fees for Intune certification or Intune exam is going to be 4800 Indian rupees. Now look into the interesting part, the syllabus, how the skills are measured for the new exam 
MD-102 for Intune administrators or modern endpoint administrators. It says lot of things, audience profile as per Microsoft has lot of details. I'm not going to cover, read out everything, but you can pause the video and read if you, if you are interested. But I'm going to highlight few technologies. It says Microsoft Intune, Windows 365, Cloud PC, Windows Autopilot, Defender for Endpoint, Azure Active Directory. All these technologies will be covered in this exam. So you can expect questions from all these technologies. So it is a vast syllabus. And you can see over here there's a specific node, non-Windows devices. That is the main reason probably for changing the certification name to endpoint from the desktop to endpoint administration. So it says non-Windows devices, maintaining Windows client as well as non-Windows devices. That is pretty nice so that the exam will cover all the Android, iOS, Mac OS, Linux, Chrome OS device management technologies related to Intune. So you can watch our previous videos about what is Intune, what is the architecture of Intune, what are the design decisions. On those videos, we have explained all about Windows client management, non-Windows client management, etc, etc. And those videos are going to help you with the MD-102 exams as well. So, percentage wise, if you look at the syllabus, manage, maintain and protect devices. That is going to give you 40 to 45 percentage of coverage. Manage, maintain, protect. That is a vast area which you need to kind of concentrate. And deploying Windows clients, managing identity complaints, that is 15 percentage, 15 to 20 percentage. Manage application is the least percentage of syllabus or questions, 10 to 15 percentage. So first, this is the first one and this is the second priority. This is the third priority and this is the fourth priority. Now we are going to look into the PDF file which Microsoft provided that has lot more details. So this is a PDF which I downloaded from Microsoft and it is available online as well. Study guide for exam MD-102 endpoint administrator. So study guide explains how to earn the certification, certification renewal process and learn profile, Microsoft learn profile, passing score score of 700 or greater is required to pass exams sandbox you can practice the exam how it will be multiple choice etc etc and how to register for exams and if you need extra time etc modifications all those details are available in these hyperlinks so all these details are available over here may 2023 all those details are provided by microsoft over here and skills measured these we we have already covered but let's look into the priority one right that is 40 to 45 percentage manage maintain and protect devices manage the device life cycle in intune and it says enrollment settings all the enro automatic or bulk enrollment settings and policy sets life cycle retired by device management life cycle how to restart etc etc these are basic things isn't it we have a lot of videos and posts about these topics Manage device configuration for supported devices or supported device platform. So how to create configuration profiles, troubleshooting configuration profiles, chaos mode, how to configure chaos mode, Android devices, fully managed Android devices, dedicated corporate owned Android devices, work profile. So Android is also involved. Tunnel. Tunnel is also involved related to MAM, Microsoft Tunnel for Intune. Monitor devices, that's another section. How to monitor devices using Intune. All these things are covered in the syllabus. You can get all these details. Plan for device updates. I'm not going to go through every point in this video, but you can see, you can pause the video and read. Implement and manage security baselines. How to 
implement and manage security baselines, EDR, ASR for defender endpoint. So all these things are in the syllabus and the weightage given to this topic is 40 to 45 percentage. So you need to concentrate on this topic. That would be your first priority. And second priority would be this one, 25 to 30. Windows client deployment, imaging, provisioning, Windows edition based requirements, subscription based activation, ESP, autopilot and interesting MDT. MDT is still there. That's cool, isn't it? Where is the configuration manager? I can't see it, but remote help is there. Remote desktop on Windows client, Windows admin center. That's interesting. Windows admin center is there. Even though configuration, I was looking for configuration manager and I can't find anything related to configuration manager or SSEM. This is our back for Intune, register devices and join devices to Active Directory, Azure Active Directory, Intune connector for Active Directory, Labs, interesting, for Active Directory that is also included in this beta exam. Conditional access, troubleshooting complaints policies, complaints policies is the main one under this section. So that's good. And then we'll see the sec third priority we have already seen the third priority this is third priority and this is the second priority and the 40 to 45 is the first priority this is the first priority and the fourth priority is this one this is the fourth priority manage application deploy application Microsoft App Deployment, Office 365 Deployment and Plan Implement Protect Policies, MAM Policies for iOS and Android Devices, Conditional Access Policies, all those things are under the syllabus. So hopefully, now let's quickly look into Exam Sandbox. Click on that and click on this. It will take you to Exam Sandbox. Okay, you just need to accept it yes click on yes and it says okay welcome to this sandbox okay that's fine all these things read read out all these things and then say ready to take exam yes start sandbox exam and timing is over here you can see the timing over here and there are 10 questions i'm not going to cover all the 10 questions but i'm going to say okay river is the my favorite sound right my, my what is your favorite sound it is asking i'm saying river is my favorite sound and which one i like more i i say grapes okay and then it says oh uh, the question is incomplete why two fruits it is asking me to select two fruits but i selected only one fruit so i'm going to select grapes and apple and then click next now this is more complex which of the following pieces of furniture you keep in the office or home so i'm going to i'm not going to attend this so i will just skip over and you can skip over all these questions if you want right and you can see how this is questions are progressing okay and it says okay complete no, i didn't complete the question so it says uh, okay i'm not going to complete the questions see i have not answered eight questions and i have only answered two questions that is my result so you can see how the experience will be for the exams so this is a sandbox experience you can try this if you have not attended any of these exams before so we have seen the syllabus we have seen the exam experience so we looked into a lot of details of md 102 exam that is nothing but in tune exam new in tune exam that is called endpoint administrator so it covers windows clients as well as non-windows clients that is why probably microsoft changed the certification name from desktop administrator to endpoint administrator hopefully this was helpful thank you for watching see you next time